Hello guys and welcome to this video. Um, this video is going to well, it's actually going to be pretty pretty basic. But uh, anyway, anyhow, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, output uh, a time, date, or yeah, actually all that stuff. So I'm just going to create a new project. Um, yeah. So press OK. Um. Well, let's wait. Uh, yeah, okay. Sorry for the camera recorder going crazy. So, close the start page if you want to, of course. Um, so, um, also, by the way, I'm going to cover the calendar. It's really easy. You just drag and drop, actually. So, I'm just going to show you right away. Um, so, let's see. Okay, so, in, under common controls, you will find the uh, month calendar. Just drag it in, and you have your kind of own calendar, if you want to call it like that. So um, I'm going to um, change the name, time and date. Uh, I'm going to make it a fixed single. Uh, you can't see this, but it's actually kind of basic. So I'm also going to remove the maximize box. It's under uh, window style and then maximize box. If you don't know where it is, or if you don't know how to locate that, so. I am going to add a label and uh, let's add another label. Um, so, label one, I'm going to change the text to current date. Uh, oh, sorry. And I'm going to create another label just right behind it, making sure it's aligned. Uh, remove the text. Well, as uh, you can do. Uh, uh, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, uh, okay, like this. Um, well, just a couple of dashes. Uh, so drag another, uh, text box, uh, label, I mean, and make it sure to make sure to align it. Uh, change the text of label to, so this label. Change the text to current time. So it's, uh, nice aligned with that. You can also do time, but it's not that nice aligned with uh, current date so I remove the text for this one let's add a timer you don't have to do this uh, you don't have to put in the code uh, unless you are going well I highly recommend it actually um, because um, whenever your um, uh, project is running for uh, like if a full day or something and it will stay uh, it will stay uh, on the same date as that it started so uh, you want to be nice synchronized with the, your computer's date so uh, uh, anyway anyway I created a timer it's underneath here see timer TMR as uh, sync TMR from timer and sync from synchronization. Uh, here are some preferences. Nothing actually important to it. Just leave the interval like that because a second is like 100 milliseconds, and this one is refreshing actually every 100 milliseconds. So, uh, I mean, a second contains 1,000 milliseconds. Um. So. I'm going to type in uh, the uh, tick uh, sub from the timer. I'm going to type in um, uh, this was label label. I can't select it. Label four. So label four o oh, four dot text equals time of day. Not that hard actually. So I'm going to show you right away how it works, or how it will look. Um, oh, <laughs> damn it! I forgot to. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, of course, we have to start the timer. So TMR sync dot enabled equals true. You can also do this in the property. Uh, you have the property enabled and it's uh, false you can also do it with code I just do it with code because I have it uh, right away so well yeah, never mind so here it uh, should uh, say my time I have uh, 24 
a 24 hour clock time because this is a uh, 24 hour clock uh, computer so if uh, uh, this can be different for you um, because maybe you are using a PM or AM or a 12 hour clock um, 12 hour clock ah man I'm just losing my mind a 12 hour clock computer ha ah, that's what I want to say sorry um, but okay so um, let's see if there, there is any kind of way to um, convert it to a 12 hour clock I will not that I see but okay so it doesn't actually matter so uh, anyway I'm going to type in label label 2 dot text is equals to and then date dot today wow isn't it amazing <laughs> wow wow <laughs> um so um it, it didn't uh, oh whoops I think uh, <laughs> sorry I uh, this is a wrong name label 3 the text it has to be Ah, now it's nice. See, um, look, I put it in the uh, timers code, as you can see. There, it's located there. There, um, I did that. Uh, let's go back to our uh, uh, program. So, when we are going to scroll down and opening up my start button, you'll see there. Uh, oh, uh, there you can see the ta uh, date, and it's exactly the same as in my program but it stays like that when you put it in load because then it's going to be static actually uh, once the program has been loaded um, it the only thing it does is showing it uh, what date it was when it starts up the program so when you're running this program for like uh, 25 hours or something uh, and well let's see I'm going to run this program about uh, 12 hours so then it's a midnight um, like three o'clock or something or well nearly f uh, four o'clock uh, never mind but um, then the current date is still uh, 14 of March well uh, over, uh, in about 12 hours it's actually uh, 15 March so that is actually your own kind of uh, uh, kind of way you can choose from both it doesn't actually matter. Um, so we we have uh, like this object. It's from um, it. Ha it's included uh, by the Microsoft one. You can uh, do multiple things. I actually don't know what you can do with it, but okay. Um, so you can select a week. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, you can. Um, by the way, um, let's see if I can do that date change yes I hope so let's add a new label just pretty quick label and then change the text to selected date colon okay so add another label and remove the text of that one now type in label in the code of the month calendar one date change of course so label six dot text equals month oh, oh it's going to crash well not really month calendar one dot um so well not um well let's see I forgot the code actually <laughs> kind of stupid but okay so let's see if I can find it no 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 oh well um I'm going to pause it and I'm going to find out what it is okay so I find the code and it's really easy actually so it's going to be uh, month calendar one dot selection start so press ok and then well see 20 well 
it's all cool and stuff, so oh well now it's going crazy actually. Oh it's actually pretty cool. Whoa whoa whoa. Ah oh, never mind, so see it actually works kind of cool, so uh well I really have to quit now. So thanks for watching this video. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or email me. Uh if you have some money over, please donate to me at gmbjbmk at gmail.com or email at that. So, so thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.